job done. Notice all the prototypes that they get it. The prototype challenge. Oh, does it say that? The number 20 goes off with this guy. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Oh, that's what I was going to do.
community of uh, sports car fans. And uh, having 120 car, well that looks pretty good actually. I think they've got away with that relatively well. We're working our first caution after that first corner incident, Jeremy. Yeah, what a shame it was because uh, it looked like it was a a very late decision to make. You try and make the corner, or do you kind of effectively turn left and just go straight on into the runoff area? We saw a race earlier this afternoon where the course was And there was a and the car was pronounced dead by uh, Johnny O'Connell yesterday during our bonus coverage of the practice before qualifying. I think that was at 5.31, if I remember correctly, Eastern time. And there's a lot of work for Bill Riley and his crew to do on that car before the next race. So you are through with the, the, the gainers and the losers. Well, a couple of big gainers in GT. Bryce Miller has suddenly found himself second in class to Tommy Milner in the number four Corvette, but leads the way. Bryce Miller in the number 48 Sherpard watches Porsche that running on Dunlop tyres. That's in second place. And uh, your Miller up into third place in the number 55 BMW, North Exler in the number 17 Parker Porsche up into driver, he's a businessman, very successful, built up a couple of decent sized companies and 
Uh, he looking to, I think, move up the ranks in the American Le Mans series and sports car racing in the coming year. Now, is he coming in? Tony Ladoos? <laughs> Ollie Gavard. Tommy's avoided a pile up in his P1 GT under full course caution. He is indeed at Oliver Gavard if you want to follow along with Yardley Hastings' finest sports car driver. Yeah, they were leading the class uh, from there on the pole in GT and able to maintain that. So, all sorts of things going on in the pit lane, some bodywork damage and a puncture for Antonio Garcia with the pit crowd open for everybody who comes in the show. Museum, and again, it's been great action around the last few days here at Baltimore for round eight of the American Le Mans series 2012. Jeremy Shaw and John Langdorf with you describing the action, or at least what we've seen so far. Looks like turn one has cleared up. I don't think we'll be uh, very much more yellow here as one or two cars are just going through that turn one area to the bottom. Uh, right hand side. Don't forget we're keeping you updated with the other battle on the track, not just the bike